Earlier today, inside a New York courtroom, former magazine writer E. Jean Carroll took the witness stand for the first time in her second defamation lawsuit against Donald Trump. I'm here because Donald Trump assaulted me, Ms. Carroll said. And when I wrote about it, he said it never happened. He lied and he shattered my reputation. In this very courtroom in May, a jury found that I had indeed been sexually assaulted by Donald Trump. Then this from Roberta Kaplan, Ms. Carroll's lawyer. Ms. Carroll, has he continued to lie about you? Carroll, yes, he has continued to lie. He lied last month. He lied on Sunday. He lied yesterday. And I am here to get my reputation back and to stop him from telling lies about me. Donald Trump was also in the courtroom today, audibly making comments that jurors could hear, saying it was all a con job. The commentary got to a point where the judge threatened to throw Trump out of the courtroom altogether. Judge Kaplan, Mr. Trump, I hope I don't have to consider excluding you from the trial or at least from the presence. I understand you're probably very eager for me to do that. Mr. Trump, I would love it. Kaplan, I know you would. You just can't control yourself in these circumstances. Trump's strategy here is debatable, and what is at stake is considerable. Joining me now is Chuck Rosenberg, MSNBC contributor and former U.S. attorney and senior FBI official. Chuck, thanks for being here. Um, we know that Ms. Carroll is asking for $10 million in damages plus untold punitive damages. It's unclear wh what the jury is going to decide. But I, I wonder how you think the outbursts here factor into the, the jury's process and indeed the judge's threshold for kicking Trump out of his courtroom. Yeah, great questions, Alex. So at least the outbursts so far have not been in the presence of the jury. The jury has been out of the courtroom when those exchanges took place, although they may have heard some of the things he said and that uh, Ms. Carroll's attorneys complained about. Uh, but the outbursts were in front of the judge. And so how does it affect the judge? You know, courtrooms, federal courtrooms in particular, are serious places. You know, they're governed by rules and procedures. And judges are used to having their law, their orders abided. And so this may help Mr. Trump politically. It may help him in some world outside of the courtroom. But it's inconceivable, Alex, that it helps him inside the courtroom. Well, can I ask, though, because there seems to be a tacit understanding on the part of the judge that Trump would love to be kicked out of the courtroom, certainly for political optics, right? The system is rigged against mm -hmm. me. They're kicking me out of the courtroom. But I wonder if you think there's any, I hesitate to use the word strategy, but I'll use it, strategy on the part of Trump to, to sort of be kicked out so that he can use that in appeal. Would that be in, in yeah. any way meaningful? You know, there's a big difference between a strategy and a successful strategy. Yeah, and so maybe, Alex, it's his strategy and maybe his goal is to try and uh, foul the record so that on appeal he has something to argue. But two things you ought to know. One is that judges control their courtrooms carefully because it is governed by rule and procedure, and judges care a lot about that, and rightfully so. The second thing is that courts of appeal, on review, give trial court judges enormous discretion to do exactly that, to control their courtrooms. Uh, appellate courts understand that they're only seeing a black and white record, words on paper, but the trial judge is sitting there and watching and hearing and seeing everything. And so trial judges have enormous discretion, and appellate courts have said that over and over, to control their courtroom. So if this is Mr. Trump's strategy to foul the record, um, it's a bad one. It's not going to work, Alex. Uh